Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back at a game I bought solely for the fanfare and I had with Robotech. Growing up, I loved the television show when I went after school to watch these crazy mech planes turning into robots. Not Transformers, which I also love dearly, but Robotech. For some reason, I fell in love with the battle for Min Mei and Lisa Hayes, plus the space battles were also a nice bonus. Once the Sega Saturn came out in 1995, I soon noticed that Japan had all the good games that was never released in America. So I took the high road and got my Saturn modded for Japanese play and imported many games from Japan. Noticing my childhood memories with Robotech, I saw Macross Do You Remember Love? I had to check it out. I never knew the name Macross was a Japan original before renamed to Robotech. Also I never knew there was an animated film based on a television series. I quickly looked up the anime, watched it and loved every bit of it and soon forgot to finish playing the game on my Saturn. Today we take the plunge and play the game that got me hooked once again to the SDF-1, Skull Eater, and of course the romantic battle between Min Mei and Lisa Hayase. Macross Do You Remember Love was developed by Scarab and released by Bandai for the Sega Saturn in 1997 and the Sony PlayStation in 1999. The game is a 2D side-scroller shooter and has player B as the protagonist Hikaru Ichio or Rick Hunter for Robotech fans. The story faithfully follows the anime film from beginning to end and also added new elements to add more story is told by cutscenes and still frames from the movie and added a new beginning with a new CG and 2D animated sequences. The player can change the formation of the plane to Jerwalk, which is a hybrid plane with legs and arms, to a full force battery, which is a fully formed robot. You have three forms of firepower with a normal gun and with homing missiles and a super powered bomb. I find that the original plane is best when avoiding enemy fire and maneuverability. There are times when the game does force certain transformations based on the level or specific boss. Overall the controls are easy to get used to and no problem at all. The visuals are nice with its 2D look mixed in with pseudo 3D objects that you can fight on different planes. The game itself is quite easy having the game last around an hour and a half to maybe two hours depending on your skill as a 2D old school shooter. Right away you realize the game isn't made at all for graphical achievements or trying something new. The game was made for its faithful look at the film and does a great job. From beginning to end you are reminded on every detail the movie went through and then some bringing the fan craze right into your living room to live through it live playing the game itself. I loved how they would translate certain scenes in the game to mimic the film itself. They would even have the side characters rise to action and fight in the background while you went ahead with the mission at hand. The game isn't a game I would recommend to anyone who isn't a fan. The game is short, easy, and not the best game when it comes to shooters. I'm terrible at shooters, but what able to beat the game 
in one sitting with two continues. When it comes to fan service, however, the sound of the gun, the missile shooting at enemies, original music and songs from the movie to the very cutscenes, that is where the journey becomes one of the better adaptations of the brand and where fans would be proud of. Macross, Do You Remember Love gets it at 7.0 out of 10 for its fantastic take on honoring the original anime film but take a step back in developing this short shooter that really doesn't do anything to help the genre besides its fan service. That's it for me on this episode on our retro look at Macross. Do you remember love? Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Damn.